Uh, John, indifferent first half, but good second half to take the lead again and get an important three points here tonight. Well, I think the first half we were actually quite good. Um, and, you know, we just, there, there were so many chances that I think the 3-2 score flatters Port Melbourne quite a bit, to be honest. Uh, so, you know, when their keeper's probably the best player on the field, that says it all. But, you know, we've got to be better, I suppose, sometimes in our finishing uh, when when the chances are there to be taken and the keeper's there, you know, to save the goals. But we had enough clear-cut chances to actually put, you know, to bury the game more or less in the first half. But we knew Port Melbourne were very dangerous on the counter-attack and uh, we knew that you know, uh, Govis has got a great lift, a great, great peg, a great shot and if you leave him half a yard he'll, 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 he'll hit the target and he did that in the first half and you know we go into the half at one all when we're thinking hang on we should be winning 4-1 here at least and then second half the same situation arises uh, it was a bit frustrating. We just we, the one thing that we, I relayed to the boys in half time was that don't get frustrated because if you start to get frustrated, you start to make mistakes, you lose shape, all that sort of stuff, and in the end you'll lose the game. So the boys just kept at it, kept it with the same intensity, same energy, and uh, you know we got deservedly our second goal and our third. They scored in the last minute, which you know we've got to be better than that. But uh, overall, we play for one thing, and that is for the three points at this time of the year. Uh, we've played some good stuff too today, but uh, above all, the three points is what counts. Uh, Kieran Dover with two goals tonight. Um, he's been putting in some good performance of late. It shows the competitiveness in the squad. He's really bringing the best out of the players. That's what it's all about, and uh, you know we'll keep on doing it. And you know next week you know, there will be changes again, and and that's that's what I've said from the start. From the boys, we've got to understand that we've got 17, 18 boys who are very good, and at any one time can play. So we're in a pleasant position. It's a you know it's a good headache to have, and uh, we just you know hope that you know by having this competition that we can get better and better as a team. And you know we've got four games to go, <clears throat> and uh, you know we're, we're we're doing okay. We just got to keep concentrating, not lose any focus because at the end of the day, uh, you know, one slip up can lead you behind. Uh, Nick Ward coming on for his debut uh, for the club. How did you assess the 10 or so minutes he had? Yeah, it's hard to assess the 10 minutes, but you know, we wanted to get Wardy, you know, start to get you know, get his legs uh, freer a bit in the, on the field and get to feel the, field, uh, the, the ground a bit because he's been away from quite a few months, but uh, no doubt, you know, we'll... we'll uh, it's good to see him back in, and uh, no doubt he'll help us out coming, uh, you know, come the last four games, finals, and plus FFA Cup games. And Luke Pilkinson coming off at half time is that a tactical change, or has he done something? No, no, he's injured. He's injured. He got injured, and uh, yeah, we didn't want to take the risk, so it was a it was a bad knock to the ankle, and uh, doctors orders said you know take him off, so we did, and uh, you know that's. We're, we're lucky enough where we can replace players at any one time uh, with someone you know just as good or even better. And looking ahead to next week, um, Avondale really tough game. That how do you assess that? Every game tough, of course. Every game tough. So this one we'll just treat it as, as as another game and we'll prepare appropriately for it. And uh, you know hopefully uh, we'll go there and get the three points. Just a word on the Melbourne City friendly on Tuesday, uh, 25th of July. What are you hoping to get out of that game? Yeah, look, we'll get some uh, get some game time to players like Nick Ward and uh, players who haven't had a lot of game time and hopefully Nick Levin will be back too so he'll be able to get some game time against uh, Melbourne City. But it's great to have, you know, uh, a leading club in, uh, in in football in this country, uh, Melbourne City, um, you know, coming to our to our ground and you know having an exhibition game. And hopefully we can have a few people there to come and see the uh, you know the new Melbourne City. I suppose uh, it'd be great to, to 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 see a lot of people come through our gates and obviously see what we're made of too. So it'd be good for us to compete against a team like Melbourne City, who you know they're, they're on a scale, they're, they're massive. Obviously, what's what's their backing? Uh, more than anything, but uh, no doubt uh, it'll be good for the boys to have a good head out and see where they're at. Because at the end of the day, their motivation is to go higher. And if uh, if you can compete against these teams, uh, then uh, your yeah, world's your oyster. Thanks for your time, Johnny. Thanks, boys.